Uh, quick update for your bro. Um, in a different scene today. I'm actually sat in my car. Just took Katie, dropped Katie off. Um, I'm waiting for her now. So, just going to talk about the fact that tomorrow is going to be your celebration of life. Not too sure how I feel. I feel a bit numb. If I, if I think about stuff, I, it's like a mental block. I don't know if it's my body's way of protecting me uh, to, to stop feeling too much pain. I don't know. I've been, been looking at all the pictures that people have sent of you that we're going to put on the screen and talking about football tops I'm gonna see if I can get John in a football top for you that should be quite funny we haven't got one yet I might have to borrow another one off Kieran um, I'm gonna wear a football top for you yeah I think there's gonna be quite a few people there you're gonna have a really good turn out held your ashes the other day and I couldn't I couldn't pick anything up um, that night that you were laying on the floor. I, <clears throat> you weren't there. You were in the house. You were angry, but you weren't pulled to that body, that vessel that we recognised you as for those years. You let go, which is good. I feel you now and again, and I appreciate beyond words the pink feather that I found on me randomly uh, the other morning sat on the sofa and it was such a light feather so light and so dainty and it just dropped quite heavy on my chest and I thought it was a spider like when they drop from their from their web so I sort of jumped and looked and and there was this tiny little fragile pink feather I've got nothing pink feathery in the front room at all I don't know where it came from. Well, I, I do. I, I believe now that it came from you and my other angels, Mum, Dad and Angie, just to remind me that you are still here um, and the emotions are still there. Just as a, at a pause, because as you can imagine, sat in the street, random people walk past and there was a young lad bouncing his ball very loudly. Um, someone else walking past don't want them to think I'm a bit old yeah so the ashes are going to go to the um, venue tomorrow evening with Kerry and the boys they seem to be doing really really well really strong Lucy's spending a lot of time with Kerry which is really good and um, the boys play equipment came yesterday so hoping that John and Colin can put that up for them um, over the weekend because I think the sooner it's up the better it's going to be the carry if they're out on that I'm not too sure if they're going to fight over it they probably will but hey ho that's having four children rich under the age of nine ten um, with Eli being ten now so ten and under yeah, um, I'll, I'm hoping to do a video when I'm at the wake of Celebration of Life for you. I will be doing it on my own. I don't feel that I can share this with anybody. Obviously, I'm sharing it on YouTube, but as, as talking about it, I don't feel that I can be as open as I could be or should be. Birthdays were tough. Mine was tough. Didn't want it to happen. But uh, John took me up Tavistock. So that was on the 29th of July. We went up Tavistock. And um, visited mum and dad. So, oh well. There. Cremation plot visited. Not too sure. Obviously, you're going to have nowhere to go to, so or nowhere where you're going to actually be. So I think it's a case of whatever reminds me of you on your birthday, um, 23rd of April every year as well. Just 
I feel that I can do my own thing for you that would help me to remember you and keep you in my heart, which is where I know you are. Um, as for the pink feather, yeah, I got interrupted. Um, yeah, it's so dainty, it literally just came out of nowhere. And, and the, the, the weight that it came down, dropped down, um, you would have thought it was, you know, quite, quite sort of heavy, a little bit, you know, solid. Um, because every time I go to show people now, it's literally just blowing away. It's so I can't understand how it just came out of nowhere and dropped without thinking or knowing that it's from my angels and pink is um, unconditional love. So thank you very much. It means so much. Uh, just reminds me that it's all true and you are all very much still there. And I will see you again when it's my time. Love you, Rich.